The electric vehicle revolution seems to be in full swing, but the road ahead has hit a speed bump. With waning consumer interest and automakers pressing pause on ambitious electrification plans, dealers are finding themselves in a pickle, stuck with unsold EVs and facing the difficult decision of how to offload them. Let's explore the top five reasons behind this shift in the EV landscape. Number one, sluggish sales. The early adopter rush is over initially. Dealers relish the opportunity to sell EVs as early adopters eagerly snap them up. High demand and supply chain hiccups allow dealers to command hefty markups, making EVs an easy money maker. However, the tides have turned. The early adopter phase is over and the mainstream market remains hesitant, deterred by affordability concerns and perceived inconveniences compared to gasoline-powered cars. With demand cooling and production ramping up, a supply glut has emerged, leaving dealers struggling to clear their lots. The current market day supply for EV stands at a staggering 107 days, far exceeding the industry average. Specific models like the Mercedes-Benz EQS and the Ford Mustang Mach-E face even longer wait times. With market day supplies of 157 and 151 days respectively, the Volkswagen ID.4, once a hot commodity, now sits on dealer lots for an average of 122 days before finding a buyer. These extended wait times tie up significant capital for dealers, leaving them desperate to offload their EV inventory. According to industry experts, the oversupply situation can be attributed to two key factors, a slowdown in EV demand growth and a simultaneous production surge. While year-over-year -year EV sales have declined by 8%, production has skyrocketed by over 500% compared to the previous year. Online listings of platforms like Cars.com corroborate this trend, with the EV inventory up by a staggering 36%. Number 2. Razor-thin profit margins No room for markups. The oversupply situation has squeezed profit margins for dealers. Gone are the days of lucrative markups. Now manufacturers and dealers are engaged in a price war, offering steep discounts to clear inventory. Tesla's recent $2,000 price cut has only intensified the competition, forcing others to follow suit. Ford, for instance, offers massive discounts on its F-150 Lightning earlier this year, slashing prices by $7,000 to $15,000 in a bid to boost sales. Other automakers have followed suit, offering incentives and rebates to entice buyers. With such aggressive pricing strategies in play, dealers find themselves with little to no room for markups. In fact, some dealers have reportedly resorted to selling EVs at cost or even below cost simply to recoup their investments and clear their lots. Number 3. The Selling Struggle Educating customers is time-consuming. Selling EVs requires a different approach and considerably more effort from salespeople compared to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. Studies show that potential EV buyers make an average of four visits before committing to a purchase as they seek to understand the technology better. This includes inquiring about charging infrastructure, range anxiety, battery longevity, and the overall ownership experience. For commission-based salespeople, this translates to investing far more time and effort for the same commission, essentially working three quarters of their time for free. The additional visits and educational efforts required can significantly impact their earning potential, leading to frustration and resentment towards EVs. To combat this issue, some dealerships have implemented dedicated EV specialists or product experts tasked with guiding customers through the buying process. However, this approach comes with its own set of challenges, as it requires additional staffing and training costs, further straining dealerships' already tight budgets. Frustrated by the extra workload and dwindling commission, some salespeople have resorted to tactics like providing misleading information about charging range or highway speeds, aiming to steer customers back towards gasoline-powered vehicles they perceive are easier to sell. This practice not only undermines the EV market, but also erodes consumer trust in the industry as a whole. Number 4. The Maintenance Money Pit Fewer service opportunities, while new car sales are a significant revenue stream, most dealers have historically relied heavily on maintenance and repair services as a consistent source of income. 
EVs, however, disrupt this model as they require far less frequent maintenance than gasoline-powered counterparts. With no need for regular oil changes, tune-ups, or other routine services that have long been cash cows for dealerships, the potential for recurring revenue from EV owners is significantly diminished. The loss of steady income has left many dealers hesitant to fully embrace the electric revolution as it threatens to undermine a significant portion of their profitability. Adding to the challenge is the fact that when EVs do experience issues, they often involve complex software and electronics that require specialized training and expertise that many dealerships lack. As a result, broken EVs can sit on dealer lots for weeks while technicians wait for manufacturer guidance to resolve the problem, tying up valuable space and resources. Moreover, a recent Consumer Reports survey found that EVs actually experience 80% more problems than gasoline-powered cars, though the issues are often software and electronics related, rather than mechanical. This unexpected level of technical complexity has caught many dealerships off guard, requiring significant investments in training and diagnostic equipment to properly service these vehicles. To address this challenge, some automakers have begun offering mobile service solutions, dispatching trained technicians to perform repairs and maintenance at the owner's location. While this approach may alleviate some of the burden on dealerships, it also raises questions about the long-term viability of the traditional dealership model in an increasingly electrified automotive landscape. Number 5. The Investment Hurdle Costly EV readiness requirements to sell EVs, dealers must meet manufacturers' criteria including installing charging infrastructure and providing staff training. Investments that can run into hundreds of thousands of dollars if not millions with the current EV market uncertainty, even the most ambitious dealers are hesitant to pour money into electrification programs, fearing that the returns may not justify the upfront costs. Ford, for instance, initially required dealers to invest between $500,000 and $1.2 million to participate in its EV program, which included infrastructure upgrades and staff training. However, as the EV market cooled, Ford reduced the investment requirement to half, and most recently only a third of dealers have signed up for the program, highlighting the reluctance among many to commit to such a significant financial outlay. The situation at General Motors is similarly challenging. As the company grapples with losses in its EV division and postpones major investments like the all-electric Silverado and Sierra pickups, it continues to pressure dealers to invest in EV readiness programs. However, many dealers remain unconvinced that the current market conditions warrant such substantial investments. Perhaps the most puzzling scenario is that of the Buick dealers, who were asked to invest $400,000 in an EV program despite the brand not currently offering any electric models. Unsurprisingly, half of Buick dealers opted for GM's buyout program rather than make such a significant investment in an uncertain future. Across the industry, automakers are employing various tactics to persuade reluctant dealers to embrace electrification from financial incentives and rebates to outright ultimatums. However, many dealers remain hesitant, unconvinced that the current EV market justifies such substantial investments, especially in the face of dwindling profit margins and uncertain consumer demands. Adding to the complexity is the rapidly evolving nature of EV technology itself, with new advancements in battery chemistry, charging infrastructure, and autonomous driving features on the horizon. Dealers fear that any investments made today could quickly become obsolete, leaving them saddled with outdated and potentially useless equipment. As the EV market navigates these obstacles, dealers find themselves at a crossroads, torn between embracing the electric future and clinging to the familiarity and profitability of gasoline-powered vehicles. Only time will tell how this intersection between technology, consumer demand, and business realities will unfold. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.